Okay, I got a request for Charles de Gaulle. Um, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Who is Charles? Well, he was born in 1890 and he became the provincial president of France from 1959 to 1969 for 10 years. Anyways, we're going to start with his head. He had a, I might have exaggerated a little bit, but that's okay. Um, he had a very long face. So we're going to start with his very long face. So we're going to be making like this big U and then across the U, this is where his hat's going to be. And he's looking this way. So we are going to put his center here and his eyes are going to go across like that. Okay. And then he'll have, maybe I made it a little too exaggerated, but you know, he had an interesting character face to him. So that's kind of like his nose and then his mouth. Okay. So we're going to do his eyes. Um, so they're just going to go up and down. He has, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of like a droopy eye. It looks a little droopy, you know? Not, not a bad thing. This is the bottom part. And then we have the eyes in there. So we're going to have them kind of looking at you. Looking at you. Hello. Put a shiny. And then I'm going to end up sharpening all inside of here. And so now we have the bottom of this one. And do the same thing. Circular. And his, let's see. So it goes up. Did I make his eye too big? Let me check it out. Maybe I'll make it a touch smaller. Maybe I'll make it a touch smaller. So we're just gonna bring up that line a little bit more. He kind of has little beady eyes. And his eye does kind of droopy down like that. This is his um, crease line right above there. Okay, super duper. So now we're going to do his eyebrows. He's got nice, gloriously thick eyebrows. You go, buddy. You go with those eyebrows. Every woman wants good eyebrows. Hmm, right? Right. Okay. So this is little eyebrows, giving it some character. And then we're going to come in. Lashes. All right, let's do this side. Give it some character. Kind of come up a little. And now we'll give it... Super duper. All right, now I am going to erase this part up here. We don't need this anymore. All right, so, but we're going to use the eye. It's going to go into this nose. Zoop. It almost looks like a big old raindrop. Zoop. Oh, buddy. Okay. What else do we know? As a child, he was fascinated by French history. Well, that's awesome. I love history. My brain does not retain things very well, but man, I love learning about history. And I can read it, and then within a month, I have to read it again, because I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you just learned about that. It's okay. That's fine. Makes it always an adventure. Something new. Something new's happening. This is his bobby little nose. We don't need this little piece here. All right, his mouth. Oh, he's got a cute mouth. So right here, it's gonna it's gonna be like this little baby V. Whoop. And the bottom part. This is bottom lip. All right, so we can erase this part here. And he's got this great mustache. Let me just pencil it in lightly, and then we will draw in the lines. So I'm just going to pencil in where his little mustache is going, and then I'm just going to put the lines in. Bloop, 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 bloop. 
what else? Um, he was held as prisoner for the majority of World War I and was wounded. Oh, poor guy. Oh, I hate war. It makes me so sad. It does. All right. All right, so now we're going to do his chin. So his chin, we're just going to make that come up like this. And we will erase just right in here. So it looks like it's connected. And then he's kind of got this like double chin down here. It's okay. A lot of people have it. Nothing to be embarrassed about. It's all right. If you get me at a bad angle, I'm going to have a double chin too. So there you go. Maybe the person shouldn't have taken his photo like that. I don't know. Okay, let's get his ear in here. Sometimes photos don't look good of me. So what do I do? Delete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. All right. Let's get his other ear in there. Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. So, let's see, right about here, oh, right where his eyebrow is, we're going to put in his hair. Mm, I kind of went over because we need a space right there. Oh, and his eyebrow does come a little short. So that might be the problem here. Okay, we're shortening the eyebrow. And so this is going to be his hair. Mm -hmm. That looks good. So now we can erase this part. And let's finish off his ear. So inside of his ear, it's going to go down. bring it over here this he does have character in his ear now we can erase this part because it's connected to his head oh that's a good thing okay now we're gonna do the bottom part my daughter the other day I let her give me a haircut and she said mom this would be a lot easier if you were a mannequin because they don't have shoulders and so when you're cutting hair the shoulders get in the way so I said I'm sorry I'm not a mannequin but I never thought about that when they get trained hairdressers this is his hat and this one we're just going to keep straight up here they're taught on mannequin heads so the head's not moving it doesn't have shoulders so in some ways it could be easier looks like an upside down pot that's hilarious a boiling pot now he's got a brim on his hat so we're gonna come from this corner bring it up who's gonna watch this maybe one person that's fine it's for the person that requested it there you go maybe somebody else might watch it right I mean France is very popular right now because that's where the Olympics are so maybe All right, so now we're gonna do the brim up here. We're gonna make a one line. And then a double line. Excellent. Now we have the three lines in the middle. One, two, three. And then you can erase inside there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, so now we're gonna do two lines over here. So we have one and two. Ooh, that looks great. Ah, uh, now the intricates of the flowers. This is gonna be a little tricky. So I'm just gonna put a dot here. This is where all of our plants are gonna come from. So I'm gonna bring it up and over. And then now you're going to go um, scalloped edge, scallop edge, and just keep going to get to the end. Do the same thing on this side. Loop, 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 loop. Lovely. All right, so now we're going to do one down here. And then go bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, we're going to have one come up this way. Bloop, 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 bloop. 
and one coming over here. Bloop, bloop. And then I have some little extra bloop. Like this. And a little stem. Is There is a stem in there. If you can fit it in. All right, let's do this one over here. So we're going to bring it out. Woo! It's going to go bloop, bloop. Once you start getting going, it's kind of fun. All right, so now we have one right here and one right there, okay? Looking good. Oh, that looks great. Uh, actually, this one, I'm gonna make it, I don't like it, it's too small. That one's a lot bigger, so we're just gonna make it wrap around. Excellent. And then there's a little piece coming off this side. The little nibbies. Nibby nub nubs. That looks great. Good job. This will be sharpied in black. <laughs> Super job. Okay, let's get his neck going in here. So coming out of his ear. We've got his neck going down, and then there's a neck going down over here. Now we can put his shirt in. Down and down. Excellent. This is his jacket, suit jacket, and it's going to come. Whoop. And so we have his shirt coming down with his jacket. Whoop. And that's his shirt. So we have a jacket and the shoulders. Shoulders, looking great. All right, this is my favorite. I love putting in ties. So this is like his shirt. And then now we got the tie popping out. This will be sharpied in. And then now we have the rest of the tie. Look how handsome. And then behind it, I put a French flag. You do not have to do that. But what I did is I just went like this and then up and over, jump, and bring it down. So here, I'm going to go up and over, jump over, and bring it down. A lot of flags have these three colors, blue, white, and red. A lot. A lot, a lot. Anyways. It's just in different orders. Top, bottom, up, down. Different orders. So the French is the blue, white, and red. All right. So you're not going to want to sharpie that. I made his eyes a little bit too big, but you know what? He looks warm and cozy. So what I'm going to do, yes, we will color it. I am going to sharpie, and then I'll show you how I colored it. Okay, let's go. Okay, before I continue on, I made this band go over also. So instead of going flush, I made it come out a little bit on both sides. So it looks like the band is going all the way around. Gives it more of like a 3D look to it. All right, I will continue. Oh, and I also made lines in here for his hair, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the big Sharpie and color in the fill-in spots and go around the outside.
Right now I'm going to erase my pencil. All right, let's get to color in. I'm gonna find some peach or pink. So we've got our peach color. What else do we know about this guy? Uh, oh, um, he led the free led the free French forces in resisting capital capitalization. Oh, okay, sorry. He led the free French forces in resisting capitalization to Germany during World War II. Sounds very important. Yes, he is. His nickname was the Great Asparagus. <laughs> I had to find out why they would call him the Great Asparagus. Okay, this is the story. How tall do you think he is? If he's called the Great Asparagus, do you think he's short or do you think he's tall? He is very tall. He is six foot five or a inch, six feet, five inches or 196 centimeters. So he is a very, very, very tall guy. And his face was very long and it had a large forehead and a long nose. So they said that he looked like an asparagus. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to be called the asparagus. Anyways, maybe a pickle just because pickles are fun and delicious. But I do love eating asparagus. Not as a child though. I thought they were like blech, disgusting. I wouldn't try them because they were green. But now I love them. I don't eat them very often, but I do love them. Okay. Okay, I'm just coloring all of him, the nice peachy color. I'm gonna go right over his mustache and beard, just color it all in, right? And just not his eyelids. So now with this, you're gonna come in on the edges and we're going to just bring it in so it has like shadows. Um, his famous quote was, nothing great will ever be achieved without a great, without great men. And great men are great only if they are determined to be so. Oh, I'm impressed. So what that means to me when I read it is that you gotta, you gotta think great. You got to be great. You gotta think great. And you just gotta go for the gold. And work hard and pursue it. it it takes work okay it really does it everything you want to do and achieve in it takes a lot of work you think all these musicians that are amazing they probably spent hundreds and hundreds and thousands of hours what about athletes we've got the olympics in france do you know how much time they put into their craft to be able to go to the olympics oh they had to think great to be great they had to work hard to get where they are. So it is a big deal. Uh, it could be in art. Um, when I was a little kid, I did not draw like this. I like to scribble. Um, my drawings were basic and simple, but over the years of practicing, you get a little better at it. I need to sharpen this puppy. I'm gonna put more down here. That looks fantastic. I'll probably come in and put some more in there, but we're gonna come in with the tan. So the tan is gonna go definitely around the eyes. I like to make the eyes pop out. And then any parts that might have shadows. Uh, here we go. It says shadowy over here, right around his nose, there's a shadow. So we can put that in there. Around the nose, I like to go, woohoo! And around the, oh, the ear, we're gonna make it a shadow. I'm gonna go under the chin, shadow by the neck. Super job. All right underneath the hat mm, along the the nose right here we're just gonna get all that shadowing in 
and along the side of this face here. Inside his ear, you can go around his ear. All right, that's the gist of it. Then you just wanna lightly go in and just smooth it all out. All right? Go different directions. Now his pinkness. Oh, also let's take this and go on that upper lip. A little bit of tan in there and around the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna come in with the pink. Give him some pink cheeks. He's working hard out there, so he needs his little rosy cheeks. Working hard. Lots of rosies. All right, Mr. Asparagus. Let's get his bottom lip, a little color in there so he doesn't look like a corpse. Nobody wants a corpse. A little pink on the nose. Sometimes I'll even put pink on the ears. Why not? A little fun. A little color in there. Super job. Okay. Now let's get out brown. So the brown is his mustache. And his eyebrows. And of course his hair here looks fantastic. It's looking good. So all I would do now is this part is going to be almost, oh, I'll show you how to make it look kind of boldy. You're just gonna take your golden yellow and your tan. And so you're gonna color all of your leaves up here, just solid yellow. It could be sloppy because you're just going over black. It's totally fine. This part is yellow too. Yellow, 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 yellow. Coloring this all in yellow, fantastic. Now, oh, sloppy job, you're gonna take your tan and we're just gonna go over some, like the inside line and then maybe just a little bit at the ends here. Make it look golden. Inside line, inside line. Just adding a little bit of this tan makes it look more gold. And you do the same thing here. Dark, 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 come in. Dark, 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 come in. So it looks like it's almost got like a, maybe put a little bit more here. That is fantastic. If you want to take the brown and then just add very lightly some shadows under here. You can actually use a light brown. I only have a dark brown out, but I'd probably use a light brown. And then just add a little bit more where it needs extra darkening. All right, I think you got the rest and I'll catch you.